It's lights out, away we go, and unlike yesterday, Verstappen gets away well this time, as does Sergio Perez. Leclerc, little slower, uh, getting off the line, and he's already been passed by Sergio Perez. Verstappen leads into the first corner ahead of Perez on the inside, Lando Norris gets third place ahead of Charles Leclerc, bad start from him. Daniel Ricciardo hits uh, Carlos Sainz, and Ferrari has spun round, and Ricciardo manages to keep going, and oh no, Carlos Sainz for the second race in a row, second Grand Prix in a row, looks like his afternoon has been ending way earlier than he would have wanted. Sainz going the long way around, where's Ricardo going to be able to go? Yeah, yeah. Daniel, hit me. The stewards have noted this, not necessarily investigating, but with Sainz being ahead into the apex... Yeah, I got pushed into Sainz. I'm going to say racing instinct, Crofty. I don't think there was anything intentional on it. Yes, you could give him a small penalty for it, but it wasn't like he went in completely out of control. They were both racing side by side. Yeah, I think Fernando Alonso is going to have to retire. Yeah, he's in the pits. Obviously, that car, you know, it would... Two seconds, Tim. How bad is the damage? Um, quite bad. Mate, quite bad. So Lando Norris, can he defend against Charles Leclerc? He's done a very nice job of it so far. Leclerc looks an awful lot so closer this time and under braking, Charles Leclerc goes for it into the chicane. That'll please the Tifosi. You can hear the roars all the way to Maranello, 56 miles away. Leclerc's up into the podium places. Russell this time is going to go for it and he's side by side with Kevin Magnussen and he's ahead of Kevin Magnussen and at the third time of asking he gets into oh. the chicane ahead but he makes a bit of a mess of it can he get back out in front we're on board with the Haas who regains that fifth place behind them Valtteri Bottas is just lurking and lying in wait 17 years ago today, Fernando Alonso won uh, that we saw as Russell now into the Ferrari anti Alta makes the move. Kevin Magnussen might not have been expecting it there, but this time around, Russell's made the move and he's made it stick too. As uh, across Vettel. the grass uh, goes Sebastian Vettel, and here comes Valtteri Bottas wheel to wheel with Kevin Magnussen down into Rivanza. Tricky braking zone. Bottas, I think, has managed to get the car stopped and slowed down enough to snatch sixth place ahead of Kevin Magnussen. Lovely move. If I was ready, I'd call Perez for. And they are. Perez does come in for Red Bull. Max Verstappen stays out on the track. Charles oh, Leclerc has Mercedes. carried on, and Mercedes are going to make a tyre change too. So George Russell making his way into the pits. Bottas, Magnussen, Sonoda, Stroll, Hamilton into the pits too. Ted, it's chaos. Oh, down there. Bottas has a problem on his great front. He's lost about eight seconds on oh, disastrous pit stop for Valtteri Bottas after a great early showing. Everybody else seems to be getting in and out. Okay, you can see that. Oh, there's going to be a crash. There is a crash between Esteban Ocon and Lewis Hamilton. Nothing's actually happened, but there's definitely contact between well, Ocon. Esteban, Esteban Ocon, Ted, managed to get ahead of Lewis Hamilton, who had a 4.9 second stationary time. So Verstappen into the pits and out again. Leclerc into the pits and out again. Sergio Perez, he's not had the best of laps here because Charles Leclerc has now got ahead of Sergio Perez. So whatever was going on in the pits has distracted our attention a bit because out on track, Perez was starting to struggle. But his tyres are now a lot more warmed up than Charles Leclerc's. And Leclerc moves over to the right-hand side to try and block off Perez. Perez eventually does find a bit of space to squeeze past and retake that position. And we've got... Two Red Bulls out in front, but it was very nearly uh, Red Bull Ferrari Red Bull for a moment, as this wow. caused Sergio Perez a few palpitations going straight on at the chicane. And this is all Leclerc can do. He can keep pressure and Perez into a mistake, and he's doing that. Here goes Yuki Tsunoda on Kevin Magnussen. And Yuki Tsunoda, nothing wrong with his power unit there whatsoever, is up into eighth place, where, of course, he finished in Bahrain in the season opener. And Charles Leclerc comes in, and he's going to try what he can. I guess there's a fastest lap opportunity. Uh, he will fall behind Lando Norris, I believe, with the stop. He'll clear him quite easily, but it is the soft tyre. Sergio Perez, who's got a free pit stop now, because Leclerc made his spot and has a uh, stop. So they're just trying to cover off uh, what's, uh, what's going on uh, with Ferrari. Verstappen. Uh, puts the limiter switch on at 80 kilometers an hour into the pit lane, makes a stop. And it's like they've practiced it hundreds and hundreds of times, which they have. 
We did say that Sonoda uh, has the pace to chase down that Aston Martin. Uh, gaps behind them, well, still half. Oh, oh, oh. And Charles Leclerc oh, goes into the barrier at the very anti Alta. Now he's kept the car going. He's kept everything running, oh, one Ferrari broken. already out, and another Ferrari potentially out, because I think he's got damage to his front wing. Any feedback on the car? He's in. It's OK. Copy. That's an old radio message then, because it's not OK, because he is coming in. Now, that allows Lando Norris to move up into the podium places, and you can see the damage to the left-hand side of his front wing, the front wing end plates has been damaged so ferrari the risk and reward we were talking about it went for the the rewards and putting pressure on red bull in the closing stages of this race and it has turned into a risky business for them as out into the race now comes charles leclerc behind yuki sonoda and sebastian vettel and sonoda's making the move on vettel tried in the previous lap didn't get it done has got it done now Crafty, look how much he goes to the right-hand side, beaches it on this big sausage curb. Why is he trying to do that? Because he wants to get the DRS down at Ravazza, but you can see the car would not handle it. Bounced, couldn't correct it, and then obviously onto the second part. He's very lucky that he managed to get that car out the wall, but he is going to be one unhappy boy when he leaves this track tonight. He has got much better speed than Magnussen, fresher tyres than Magnussen, and does manage to get past the Haas, so he's now up into eighth. Sebastian Vettel has been passed already for seventh place. Charles Leclerc is going to make it uh, another pass for seventh place against Sebastian Vettel. Max Verstappen, 14 seconds out in front. Charles Leclerc was thinking about second place at one stage and has just made the move on Yuki Tsunoda into sixth place after that late crash at the Valle Anti-Alta. This has been a very comfortable win indeed for the defending world champion, the reigning world champion. He's coped with the rain here this weekend. Max Verstappen comes to the line, wins the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix by some distance, and it's a distance from his teammate Sergio Perez as Red Bull come to Ferrari's backyard and make it a 1-2. If it was the Reds against the Blues here today, the Blues are very much with the Reds, and the Blues are triumphing. Very impressive. And Lando Norris on the podium, superb. That will motivate everyone at McLaren. The crowd, the 64,000 fans, packed the banks and the grandstands, hoping to see victory for the Reds. Well, they kind of did, but it was the Red Bulls who reigned supreme in the rain in Emilia-Romagna.